I'm a first time mom. Um, she is, she'll be 10 months um, this month and she's actually a little little dense as I like to say. She's 21 pounds. So she she's a little chunk of munker. Um, but when I was pregnant, um, I'm a very, I stayed active while I was pregnant. Um, I've been doing something called bar for about five years. So I did it throughout my pregnancy. So, which is a very core engaged type exercise. Now, of course I had to make modifications when I was carrying a giant baby in front of me or inside of me, but that allowed me to be honest with you. I didn't have much in the way of back pain during my pregnancy toward the tail end. I would maybe get a occasional back pain, but truly because my core was so engaged, I didn't have back pain throughout pregnancy. Now that we're older, I can no longer really carry her in the car seat safely. Um, I have to actually lift her out because it's just too much load bearing on my back. I tend to lean forward when I'm carrying the car seat with her in it, which is not good body mechanics. And when I'm, so I make sure I take her out of the car seat and when I'm lifting her from the ground, I bend with my knees and lift her up. I don't bend with my back because we have seen it in clinic more than once. New moms, they will go just out of hurry, will just go lift up their baby and they blow a disc. Or they're lifting their car seat with bad body mechanics and again, they will throw their back out. So it's really about bending with their knees, lifting her up and not constantly this bending over. Yeah, I actually, for her diaper bag, I do have a backpack. So this way it's one, your hands are free because if you had a shoulder diaper bag, then that can shift the weight. And then if you have your child on the other arm, so I really think having a diaper backpack or for your diaper bag is much better for overall stability and keeping you upright. It's basically all about making sure you're balanced. So actually my daughter was born with a club foot. So in the beginning, I couldn't use some of the wraps because of her bar and brace. Um, but I do think when they're little, it's fine. Use the wraps. But if you're 21 pounds like my daughter, if you put her here, then what can happen, if your core is not engaged and strong, then it can throw your center of gravity off and you're gonna start leaning forward and hunch. So really it's best if you're gonna carry your child, like if you've ever seen those camping ones, like the book bag ones, those would be better because it would be a better body mechanics and posture. No, I mean, I was a kid who played sports, played softball, you know, I had an older brother, so we sword fight, we wrestled. That's not gonna change my outlook with Riley, my daughter. Um, I mean, some there's no there was no safety wipes when I was a kid going to the grocery store. I don't do that now. There's nothing wrong if you're a mom that does that. That's how I was raised because it wasn't there. So I kind of just go with how I'm raised. I will say, being in the neurosurgical field um, and seeing what I've seen, she will be wearing a helmet without question when we're riding a bike, we're doing roller skates. That is without question because I've seen too many head injuries where patients have been riding their bike, they fell off and had a traumatic head injury or got hit by a car, weren't wearing a helmet and very life-threatening and debilitating things have occurred to these. Um, so if she wants to, I mean, my niece plays lacrosse, which is, you know, a very kind of contact. I don't know if that's what Riley will be into, but if there's safety precautions in there, so it's all about safety gear. Um, and just taking those precautions. So if she wants to try it, sure.